And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's it. Stop cooking. Looking at my plate, I'm happy. Um, all the elements I set out to do, I finished, so I'm happy with that. Today, it really is about whether or not you're good enough. Okay, Claire. Hi. Claire. We'd normally have a whole chicken roasted, but as an invention test, and if I wanted to show different aspects of how to do it, giblets are something that I never cook with, ever. The livers are just pan fried. Okay, let's taste, guys. To me, it tastes like chicken that was done in the oven and nothing to differentiate them except for the basting sauce on the side. All three chickens taste the same. The whole combination for me didn't work. It just looks too much like a plate off a buffet from your auntie's house. To be honest, there's nothing on this dish that makes me go, wow, now that I like. It's a dish that's imminently forgettable. Thank you, Claire. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. I think today being an elimination challenge, just straight off the top, I think it's, it's anyone's day. The whole chicken was my gut instinct right from the beginning. I knew that that's what I did well. I knew that it would be impressive on the plate. Hello, Philippa. My dish is roast chicken a la Robinson. I did a Jerusalem artichoke and potato mash. I needed to use the giblets and I used them in the gravy. And I thought that with a mash, a gravy would be a nice accompaniment. Guys, let's taste. Let's <clears throat> The stuffing, really good flavour. I just don't know if you should have cooked them in that way. I almost want more of that stuffing. It's that great. And then the chicken is, for me, very good roasted chicken. The skin is nice and crisp. My problem with having to taste nine chicken dishes back to back is that I don't get to eat half of this roast chicken on my own. This is what I was hoping for in this chicken challenge. Perfectly roasted chicken, beautiful sauce, mash, stuffing, glorious. Fantastic roast chicken. Thanks, Philippa. Thank you. I felt very relieved. I can't lie. Today's challenge um, came without a, the opportunity of a pressure test, a few of the worst dish of the day. Um, I don't feel that I've probably done the worst dish of the day. Good. How are we doing? Hello, chefs. Yeah, good, thank you, chef. I thought, you know, cooking chicken one way would be the best solution. Splash cooked the chicken, and I, I pictured a sort of midday lunch outside, glass of wine, salad, nice piece of chicken, nice roll. Took the hearts, which I'd never eaten before, and a couple of the livers, so that went over the salad as well. Oh, let's tuck in. Give it a whirl. Ian, I think it tastes better than it looks, that's for sure. I, I, the, the plating you had on that platter, that should have been two platters. I think the chicken could have been a couple of minutes longer. You're in by a minute or two rather than comfortably. But it's tasty. I love that caramelized vibe that you've got going with the chicken. Yeah? Big, nice cold glass of wine. I could sit to lunch any day with this. I love the salad. I don't mind it all mixed up, but it just didn't need to be on the plate. The chicken, on the other hand, I mean, it definitely works. I'm impressed by, you know, the bread that you've made. It's a Bloody good bread as well. The hearts and the liver you used um, and salad. You, yeah, uh, dressing. over the salad, yeah, that definitely worked. Yeah. 
Thanks. Great stuff, Ian. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Ian. Right now, my chances of staying in the competition are probably better than I thought going into it. It tasted better than it looked, I thought, so... Well done, Batman. <laughs> pastries and the cook. The challenge today was to create a MasterChef masterpiece starring an entire chicken, perfectly highlighting the flavors and textures of the bird. This was high stakes today, an extremely valuable reward. The winner gets to choose the pairings for the next challenge. Three dishes stood out for us today, were really impressive. Ian. Great chicken, simply done, beautiful marinade. It really brought out the flavors of the chicken. Great bread and a great salad company. Penny, sometimes simple is best. Cockavan, faultlessly prepared. Great mash, beautiful, unctuous dish, wonderful to eat. And then Philippa, beautifully roasted chicken. Great skin, lovely mash. Beautiful sauce. Well done, the three of you. Thank you. So the person will be choosing the teams in the next challenge, and the winner of today's invention test is... Penny. Penny will have the advantage of choosing the pairings, but there are nine of you here today. So that means one of you will not be going forward into the next challenge. So the three people whose dishes impressed us the least is Claire. The picture that you had in your mind and what you ultimately served up to us just wasn't the same. Today, we don't get a second chance to go into the pressure test today. This is the dish and it is what it is. Roxy. Roxy. You tried to do different elements and your dish had lots of texture, but ultimately it lacked the flavor. Being in the bottom three again, it like knocks your confidence down quite a lot of notches. Front row. Front row, your pastry was undercooked and the seasoning in your filling were just too heavy handed. That just broke me. I was like, oh, you know, I'm going home today. The next person leaving the MasterChef kitchen is... Claire. It just didn't come together for you today, Claire. We've loved the passion and the intensity you've shown in the kitchen. We look forward to seeing more of you. Please hang up your apron. I've cooked such amazing dishes and I've learned so much and met amazing people. I'm really proud and really excited and just so content with being able to be part of this.